Hello and welcome to the Titus Timeout Podcast. I'm Jenny Sivy and today we're going to talk about dual duct boxes and how they work. We've already discussed single duct and fan powered boxes. The last major type of box is the dual duct box. Dual duct boxes probably aren't as popular as single duct and fan boxes, but you'll run into them every now and then. Like all boxes, dual duct boxes have a discharge that's ducted out to the diffusers in the space. The difference is the dual duct has two supply inlets ducted to the supply air system. One is ducted to cold air and the other is ducted to hot air. Like the single duct or fan boxes, each inlet has a damper that controls the amount of airflow that goes through the inlets. One benefit to supplying hot air instead of having reheat coils is that you can filter the supply air at the air handler. For instance, you might have a hospital that would want to provide filtered hot supply air instead of pulling plenum air into the space like you would with a fan box. There are actually two types of dual duct boxes. The first is a non-mixing dual duct box. This is basically two single duct boxes strapped together. A little too long there. You would actually duct the discharge of the complete unit to your diffusers in your space. So there's a challenge to a non-mixing box. Because the hot and cold air streams are not mixed inside the box, you could have cold air going down one side of the duct and hot air going down the other side of the duct. So if you see here, we'll draw in some diffusers. Now you can see the air may not mix and you'll have cold air going to one space and hot air going to the other space. So for this reason, non-mixing dual duct boxes often only have the hot or cold air coming in at any given time. So in cooling, the damper on the hot duct would close and the cold air damper would be open or modulating to control comfort. And in heating, the cold air damper would be closed and the hot damper would be modulating to control comfort. It's also important to note that when you're switching between heating and cooling, there can be a moment where both dampers are closed and no air is going to the space. The other type of dual duct box is a mixing dual duct box. As the name implies, the box mixes the hot and cold air streams. So we have a discharge in two inlets, just like the non-mixing box, but the difference is the inside has an open area for the air streams to mix, typically with a mixing baffle to help the air get well mixed. The mixing baffle forces the two air streams together so they can mix well before going out the discharge and into the space. We describe how well a dual duct box mixes as its mixing ratio. So let's draw a little duct work on here. The mixing ratio is defined as 1 in 10 or 1 in 20. What this means is that 4 feet down the duct work, if you took a reading in the duct work, you would find no more than 1 degree for every 10 degree differential on the hot and cold inlets. So say you had 95 degrees on the hot inlet and 55 degrees going into your cold inlet, the difference of 95 and 55 is 40 degrees, so you can't have more than 4 degree temperature variance in this part of the box. Now let's look at 1 in 20. Again, let's draw a box real quick. Now we have the same 95 degrees and 55 degrees going into the box, but 1 in 20 means that 40 degree differential only gives you 2 degrees of variance 4 feet down from the box. 1 in 20 is considered a high mixing box. Another thing to note about dual duct boxes are that there are several possible locations for the flow sensors. So let's draw a box. Your first option is you could have flow sensor in both the hot and cold inlets. The next option is that you could have the sensor in the cold inlet and the discharge duct. Or you could have the sensors in the hot inlet and the discharge duct. And then, of course, there's the option of having a sensor in both hot and cold inlets and the discharge duct. Where you put your sensor really depends on what controllers you use and how they are set and what readings they can take. 
One application that we're starting to see more of lately is the use of dual duct boxes that have a cold duct and a fresh air duct instead of a hot air inlet. This allows you to bring fresh air into the occupied space and measure it and meter it. Although dual duct boxes don't usually come with reheat coils, this application may need a reheat coil. We'll talk more about this in future podcasts. So that's how dual duct boxes work. Thanks for taking the time out with us.